Thank you, precious people of God, for taking time to watch this broadcast. I welcome you once more in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak about uprooting every evil plantation in the family. People of God, in deliverance ministry, we deal with uprooting demons, spirits, and evil things that Satan plants in the lives of people. If you read the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter number 15, verse number 13, the Bible says, But he answered and said to them, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted, it shall be rooted up. This is Jesus Christ. And I want to remind you that the ministry of Jesus Christ here on earth, he was preaching the kingdom of God, and his ministry was full of good news for salvation, good news in the area of deliverance, good news in the area of blessings, good news in the area of eating. Jesus came to do ministry. And complete ministry, it must have salvation, healing, and deliverance. We have people that are deep in salvation, yet they are suffering under bondages of sickness. They are demons that are torturing their lives. So, the true complete of ministry you must be able to deliver someone from bondages of darkness. And Jesus said, every plant that was not planted by my heavenly father, it is going to be uprooted. Viewer, there is something that has been disturbing your life. There is something that has been bringing problems, challenges, and situations in your life. And it was planted there by the enemy. If you read the Bible in the book of Matthew 13, verse number 25, Jesus once more brings a deliverance situation or case. He says, But while men slept, his enemy, who is the devil, came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. When men were asleep, the enemy, who is the devil, he came and planted something in his vineyard, in his farm. He came and planted something to destroy the wheat. We have people that began well in life, but over the course of their destiny, the devil came and planted something. The devil came and planted something in your mother's house. Satan came and planted something in your father's house. But God has sent me in this hour as a deliverance minister anointed of God to decree and to declare every evil plantation, every evil seed, every spirit of discord that was planted in your life, that was planted in your family, let it be uprooted today in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the power that I'm talking about. If you read the Bible in the book of Ruth, chapter number 9, verse number 1 and 2, he called the 12, he gave them power and authority over unclean spirits demons and devils and sicknesses these things they cling or they connect themselves to the lives of people and they need to be uprooted out there are things that have connected themselves to you they need to be disconnected they need to be taken away there is a kind of stress confusion sickness that is following your life and it is not supposed to be your life let it be uprooted today in the name of jesus christ that sickness in your head in your eyes in your chest in your lungs in your blood in your skin let it be uprooted today in the name of jesus christ that disappointment that failure let it be uprooted today in the name of jesus christ jesus said matthew 15 13 Whatever that was not planted by my heavenly father, it is going to be uprooted. Come on, viewer, wherever you are watching this broadcast, 
we are uprooting whatever has been planted in your family. We are uprooting it. We are kicking the devil out of your family, out of your destiny, out of your journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, we have some signs. In medical world, we say signs and symptoms. Symptoms are what you say you complain to the doctor about. Signs are the things that the doctor can see. But now in the spiritual world, there are signs that we can see in your family and we conclude that there is a demon that is hiding in the family. There is a spiritual bondage that is hiding in the family. When in the family you experience premature death in the family, people die at the prime of their career. There is a demon or a devil that is in the, uh, that is hiding in your family at it, and it needs to be uprooted out in the name of Jesus. When there is disunity and disagreement in the family, family members cannot agree. They cannot even meet together for a get together to do something just to celebrate it's a family that disunity and disagreement is a sign that the devil is present in the family viewers the devil today uses many agents to enter into the family the devil can use a sorcerer a witch an agent devil can use anybody even the family member in order to enter into the family do you remember when Jesus Christ was speaking? He said, I am about to go to glory. I'm going to die on the cross. Do you know what? Simon Peter said, no, it cannot happen. Jesus was talking about his death for redemption. Do you know what Jesus said? <laughs> he turned and said to Peter, you devil, get behind me, Satan. He was addressing to Peter, Peter was an apostle, but the devil has ma had managed to enter into his life. And Jesus noticed the person that is responding, it is not Peter, it's a demon, it's a devil that has entered the life of Peter. And he kicked the devil out. There are some sickness you need to tell the devil, come out, out of my life, devil. And the sickness leaves you. And the challenge leaves you. Don't allow to suffer. Your family members to suffer. Your children to suffer. Your health to suffer. It's a result of a demonic entity in your life. You need to command it out. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter number 16. Verse number 16, 17 and 18. Them that believe. They shall do miracle signs and wonders. They shall take away serpents. They shall heal the sick. They shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. The spirit of serpent represents all the offices of the devil. The serpent spirit represents the offices of the devil. In the world that we are living today, the devil can take many offices, many names. There is a problem that you are suffering today. And it is a devil that is hiding by the name of that problem. Somebody you need to arise and say enough is enough. Devil, this is not your family. Devil, this is not your body. Devil, this is not your place. I command you out. I kick you out in the name of Jesus. Pack and go. Satan, pack and go. Number three, if you see divorce cases and patterns in the family, people are divorcing. People are not able to stay in marriage. Relationships and disappointment are happening amongst family members. Know that the devil is hiding in the family. Dreams of people being in the village or at the town of birth. You always dream. But 
in the dream life, you are taken back to where you used to live in the past, in the town, in the, in the estate, in the environment, in the place where you used to live in the past. In the dream life, you are always taken there, in that house, in that environment setup. And also family members, your brothers and sisters, when you take account of their dreams, they also have some moments and episodes of dreams of them being where you used to live in the past. In the childhood moments. It means Satan has entered in your family and he needs to be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Dreams, they can show the point of entry of the bondage. Through the dream, you can know there are people who are praying, Lord, show me the root cause of my problem. Lord, show me the root cause of my challenge. Lord, show me the root cause of whatever is affecting my life. I need to know, Lord, Oh, Jehovah God Almighty, visit me at the point of your deliverance. And God is very merciful. He will reveal it to you through the dream. How I pray today, may the Lord speak to you in the dream. Some of you watching this broadcast, you need, you need to attend. You need to book for appointment for dream interpretation. We can sit in a deliverance appointment, whether by virtue of Zoom, online was up i can be able to speak with you i can be able to interpret the dream and i can tell you through this dream the enemy has entered your life god has given me grace to interpret dreams and to point out a demonic entity that entered through the dream there are some people who dream of having sexual intercourse in the dreams spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, people trying to sleep with you in the dream. These are demons. Number five, if you note there is no progress, no achievement in the family. People, they don't prosper in the family no matter how much effort they put in, no matter the level of qualification of their education. Something evil is in the bloodline. We have bloodline problems. Ge these are called generational patterns, generational hindrances, generational problems. People are having a profitless work and life. You live a life of heart to mouth. You dream of eating with strangers in the dream. You dream of going to restaurants and attending dinners that you don't know about. You dream of being married at the altar but you don't see the person that is marrying you. You dream of coffins. You dream of burial. These are signs to show that the devil has entered your life. You see in the family people are poor, are poor finishing. The moment they grow old, they grow old when they are broke. They have nothing to show. It's called poor finishing. Whenever you are watching this broadcast, you need to say, God, I refuse every spirit of poor finishing. I shall finish with the glory of God. I shall finish with the blessings of God. I am victorious. I am successful in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, wherever you're watching this broadcast, I stretch my hand towards the screen as a man anointed of God for this hour. I command every evil plantation that has entered your family, your life, your career, your destiny, let it be uprooted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Repeat this prayer after me, Jesus. I'm at the place of your mercy. Deliver me today. Set me free today. Every bondage of sin, every bondage of satan live my life today jesus forgive me today let your blood wash me let the holy spirit fire come and locate me today and tear down into pieces every bondage and uproot 
every non-achievement spirit in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Viewer, I am continuing to pray with you. I'm continuing to rebuke every spirit of sickness that was planted by the enemy in your life when you are asleep. I'm continuing to kick it out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can lie to me through apostlemartin at yahoo.com or through the description. I'll put my number there. You can call me. You can WhatsApp me. And I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ.